the way that we try to look at Netanyahu having Trump in mind uh, is uh, the right way to do it because I think both these leaders um, are eager to come back uh, to uh, public life and they eager to do it through the control over their own uh, ruling parties. Um, Netanyahu definitely is going to try to uh, um, maintain his grip over the party, even though uh, the last uh, three weeks or even four weeks, we saw several um, uh, issues that came down with the Likud party that Netanyahu uh, wanted it to go the other way around it, and he was not able to uh, get even the most uh, basic uh, stuff that he wanted the Likud party to do, to do it his way. So this is like a sign that even within the Likud party, there are signs that uh, Netanyahu's grip uh, on, the, on the party is actually um, being at least weakened, if not uh, deteriorating. Uh, but knowing Netanyahu, he would not uh, give over uh, control as long as he can, uh, can have it. Netanyahu era is not going to be over even when the man himself, even you know, if he goes uh, to prison or even if he retires from politics or even if he uh, declares that he's no longer involved in the public scene uh, uh, in Israel. The reason is that uh, through 12 years, uh, the last 12 years of uh, Netanyahu's reign over Israeli, uh, um, uh, the Israeli state, uh, the changes that his uh, government uh, made were so pervasive and so um, uh, structural that Netanyahu's era is going to continue way beyond uh, the uh, uh, actual person. But this is also going to be the main uh, thing that we're going to discuss uh, in my public talk. So I hope uh, people will uh, join us and uh, hear more about the way that Netanyahu era is not going to end, even if the person is himself is going to leave the uh, public scene.